The way I know anti-fatness is not about health is that if somebody came on this app tomorrow and was like, hey guys, did you know that if you inject yourselves with lead, it'll cause loss of appetite and weight loss? And a lot of you would do it. We will have to compare the negatives, whether lead poisoning is less harmful than obesity-related illnesses. I'm so scared what Ozempic is gonna do to people. And people who genuinely need Ozempic for medical reasons that have no access to it now. Weight loss can be a medical reason. Today we're talking about weight loss. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ugh, another weight loss video? But trust me, this one's different as you will see examples of how not to be. We're ditching the fad diets and unrealistic expectations and focusing on sustainable, healthy ways to reach your goals. I think that very thin people do get discriminated, but I think you are thinking skinny is maybe normal weight? Some people are very thin and can't help it. I don't understand why people can't just self-educate themselves on these topics when they clearly don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Okay, now I'm gonna try to be nice. One, there's no such thing as a normal fucking weight. The fact that you're implying that there's a normal fucking weight is fat phobia and fat phobic. But wait, there must be a normal weight, if not weight at least a weight range. Or should we call it healthy weight instead of normal weight? And the comment is so on point, when all of you fat activists say skinny or thin people you are referring to normal weight. The fact that you say, I think that very thin people do get discriminated without providing any evidence or proof is not okay. Because one, you're wrong. Because no, really, really, really thin people or normal sized people in your terms. No, you don't fucking get discriminated based on your fucking body size. Because we live in a society that values thin people. You don't get denied a job for being thin or skinny. You don't get paid less for being thin or skinny. Again, thin or normal. And of course, fat people will be paid less since health insurance for these workers is higher. They're less productive. They use more sick days, etc. You don't receive no medical advice or no medical treatment for being skin, skinny or thin. That doesn't happen. But all of those things happen to people that are fat because of their fucking body. So no, thin people do not get discriminated against systematically in our fat phobic society for being thin when being thin is literally valued. Some people are thin, it can't help it. Yeah, no fucking shit. Never said that all thin people are starving themselves. Like what? But guess what? Some people are fat and can't fucking help it. Maybe some yes, there are conditions that we do not know about, but most of you are not. Most of you are this weight because you enjoy food too much. Just try to enjoy other things. There is more to life. But guess what? Some people are fat and can't fucking help it. Like, do you not understand that it fucking goes both ways? Thin people exist and fat people exist without being able to help it. But guess what? That doesn't mean the thin people get discriminated against in our society because of their thinness. Because thinness is, is valued in our society and fatness is not. Hence the systemic discrimination and fat phobia. So instead of making uneducated comments and thinking you know what you're talking about when you literally don't, just Google it. Fucking educate yourself. Oh my God. Thank you, and like, stop making these comments on fat people's posts. It's so fucking annoying. As someone who's been both, you are speaking out of your arse and don't know anything. You sound ignorant, girly, and honestly just hateful. Here's the good news. There is a good way to lose fat. A way that focuses on feeling good, making healthy choices, and creating sustainable habits for the long haul. So, let's dive in. Number one, focus on habits, not restrictions. Our bodies are amazing machines, but they don't like being shocked by sudden changes. Crash diets might lead to quick results, but they're almost impossible to maintain. Instead, let's focus on building healthy habits that fit into your lifestyle. I'm certain less people are gonna see this than have seen my other videos, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I have never said that they should recast already established thin characters 
played by thin actors with fat actors. I have said, don't use fat suits. Now, what does that mean? People always go to Thor in Endgame. It's always Thor in Endgame. And they're like, well, what do you want to recast Thor? What do you want to make Chris Hemsworth gain the weight? No, what I want is for them to stop using weight gain as a plot point. It's that simple. Cut him being fat from the movie. Cut the fat phobic fat jokes from the movie. Cut the fat suit from the movie. And it's fine. That's all you need to do. That's all. So you want us to live in a world where gaining weight is not a thing. People are born fat. We are all fat. And losing weight is a crime. Got it. It's the result of his depression from the last five years. They do play it for laughs mostly which Marvel has a problem with doing. Back to losing weight. Here are some ideas. Swap sugary drinks for water. It's a simple change with a big impact. Fill half your plate with veggies. They're packed with nutrients and low in calories. Cook more meals at home. You have more control over ingredients and portion sizes. Find an exercise you actually enjoy. Walking, dancing, swimming. Anything that gets you moving. Fat activist received unwanted, but genuinely positive intention comment while exercising in the park. I said keep doing what you do and you're gonna be slim and trim. The woman wanted to support her efforts. What? Oh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. She probably was at the point herself or knows someone who has and wanted to share words of encouragement. Share words of encouragement when people ask for it. This was weird. How does this look like? Hey, please encourage me. If this was not okay, why do you smile about it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's read the activists thought about the situation in the description of the video. And every time this happens, I'm expected to smile, to just laugh it off, because how dare I, as a fat person, get mad when someone wants to encourage me or motivate me? I should be grateful, right? That strangers care about my health enough to take time out their day to interrupt mine? Remember, weight loss is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to overhaul your entire life overnight. Start small, celebrate your wins, big or small. And don't be afraid to adjust your approach along the way. Here are some tips. Set realistic goals. It's all dependent on your starting weight, but aiming to lose one pound per week is a safe and sustainable pace for most. Don't deprive yourself. Allow yourself occasional treats. Restrictive diets lead to cravings and binges. Find a support system. Tell your friends and family about your goals. Having a cheerleader can make all the difference. Do not join the fat acceptance community. My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for. No, you live for food. This is secondary. And that's why we love her. Weight loss is fantastic, but it's not the only measure of health. Focus on how you feel. Do you have more energy? Can you move your body with ease? Are you sleeping better? These are all great indicators of progress. Back with another sneaky perk of being fat. I don't have to worry about my boyfriend leaving me if I get fat, because I'm already fat, and I've been fat the whole time, and he hasn't left. Of course there are people who prefer bigger, but what is your point? So if I get pregnant and I have a kid and my body changes or whatever, it wouldn't even be that different. Some fat people don't even realize they're pregnant because they already have so much weight that they carry in their stomach. No difference. No worries here. I don't have to fear weight gain because everything weight gain would bring, I'm already dealing with. I am living people's worst case scenario and my life isn't over. Everything is fine. It's everything still happening. I'm still doing good. So you cannot get even bigger and unhealthier? 
And that would blow the minds of so many people who live every day in fear of even gaining a few pounds and getting just a teeny bit closer to what I look like. I feel sorry for you guys because you will never know that your worst fear isn't really that bad. And I bet you spend a lot more energy thinking about your body than I spend thinking about mine. And that's another sneaky perk of being fat. But why are you convincing everybody that your life is awesome and encouraging others to gain weight? To be awesome like you? No, but for real, when people ask if they should lose weight before dating, I tell them finding someone who likes fat people will save you so much energy in the future, lol. My sneaky perk of being fat is that guys tend to leave me alone, lmao. Remember, weight loss is a personal journey. Don't compare yourself to others and be kind to yourself along the way. Celebrate your non-scale victories, prioritize healthy habits, and find what works for you. With dedication and a positive mindset, you can reach your goals and feel amazing in the process. Thank you for watching. If you like the video and want to see more like this, please like and subscribe to support us.